We had a few showers to start off the morning and now we're seeing a little bit more showers just in our northern counties. Really the southern half we're staying dry at least even through Tippecanoe County we're staying dry but notice on our precision 18 radar we'll go right there just around Logansport seeing a few light showers and same with Rensselaer just around there seeing just a few little showers. I'm not expecting too much from these. But we'll go ahead and time them out with our future cast and we'll start at midnight tonight. They'll push through the area and I'm thinking they're going to be moving out by 3 o'clock in the morning. And then we're going to see partly cloudy skies for tonight. And we'll go ahead and go up in our forecast. This is what I'm going to talk about. Dry weather to wrap up the weekend. And also a cold front's going to move through Monday. And that's going to bring us another chance for rain and then unseasonably cool air. I'm talking about highs only in the upper 40s. And that's all coming up this week. But we'll go ahead and time out the cold front with our future cast. So we'll start at 7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to stay dry throughout the entire day on Sunday. We could see partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies, but notice once we get to Monday at midnight, we have that rain off to our west. That'll push into the area and arrive by Monday morning at 7. That'll quickly push out once we get to Monday around noon. Most of the rain should be pushed out, so I'm expecting just a few lingering showers by Monday morning. The highs today, we only climbed up to 54 degrees in Lafayette and now we're down to 44. We're seeing overcast skies, winds coming from the south southwest at three miles per hour and tonight we're going to fall into the 30s, mid 30s to our northern counties, 34 for Rochester and Winnemac, 35 in Logansport, 36 in Delphi and an overnight low of 37 degrees for Lafayette. And if we Take a look at our temperature trend for Sunday. Only 46 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning, 55 by noon, 61 degrees by 2 p.m., and we'll peak at 62 by 4 p.m. in the afternoon, which is just a couple degrees below our average high, and we'll be in the 60s for our highs on Sunday. Just around 60 degrees to our north and lower 60s for the rest of the area, 63 degrees for a high in Crawfordsville. Now, looking at the trend ahead of the week, our average high is 64 degrees, and that's what this red line does represent. We'll be around our average on Sunday, but we drop to a high of 55 degrees on Monday, 50 on Tuesday, and then 47 degrees on Wednesday, and then 48 on Thursday. And that is well below our average for this time of the year. So we have that unseasonable air coming in, so prepare and have a coat ready for the end of the week. Tonight we're going to fall to 37 degrees with clouds decreasing overnight and seeing patchy frost even being a possibility, especially for the northern counties. And tomorrow looking at lots of sunshine, 62 degrees, partly cloudy skies. It will be breezy if you see the gusts up to 20 miles per hour and overall just going to be a cool day. Now looking at our next seven days, we have that chance for rain on Monday morning, a high of 55 degrees, 50 on Tuesday, seeing lingering showers. But if you notice by Wednesday, it looks like we have a chance for a wintry mix on Wednesday morning just because our low is going to be falling into the mid to lower 30s for much of the area. So keep that in mind. We may be seeing a few flurries by Wednesday morning. Thursday, mostly sunny or mostly cloudy. High of 48 degrees, 49 for a high on Friday. And then we bump back up to 50 on Saturday. But overall, those look pretty cool temperatures. So I